My name is Himat Rai. I'm the Managing Director of Sentinel Safety Solutions Limited. We're a risk management consultancy based in Bromsgrove. Um, Eclipse have been clients of ours for the last four years or so, and we advise the company on health and safety management systems and advise them on an ongoing basis. Um, and in my experience, uh, CCTV is extremely useful in relation to the two driving uh, factors when it comes to health and safety and food safety risk management. Firstly, in relation to defending a potential criminal prosecution by the health and safety executive. And secondly, in relation to defending possible claims for compensation from employees, contractors, members of the public uh, who may be impacted by a company's operations. Um, in relation to health and safety in the workplace, in my experience, I've found CCTV footage extremely useful when investigating accidents. Um, this is a process whereby a, um, in order to find out how an accident occurred, it's normally a case of putting together a sequence of events leading to the incident itself. One particular uh, incident I have experience of investigating is a freezer warehouse where a, uh, the incident involved very large scale collapse of racking and on carrying out the investigation uh, and looking at the CCTV footage it was clear that the forklift truck operator had uh, effectively pulled down uh, the, the racking system whilst trying to place a pallet onto the racking. This was very, very useful in putting together the company's uh, point of view and then subsequently um, uh, assisting with identifying um, issues regarding training and competence and ultimately about improving systems for managing health and safety risks in the workplace. And incidentally, it was very useful in order to defend the company with a view to a, an investigation by the uh, local authorities enforcement officers. Another area that I find um, CCTV footage to be particularly useful is in public access areas in some businesses such as uh, hotels uh, or restaurants where obviously members of the public, uh, customers and guests arrive and, uh, and in some cases claims of compensation are made against the businesses. In relation to hotels, um, I have experience of investigating um, uh, claims for compensation where members of the public make claims uh, alleging that the hotel was at fault uh, in uh, causing an accident uh, and in fact a review of the CCTV footage showed that the member of the public was not in the uh, best state of um, health after a night out and in fact um, there was nothing obvious that the hotel could have done to prevent uh, the, the member of the public falling. Um, and finally uh, another area where I'm gonna have, uh, I have direct experience of the use of CCTV footage is in relation to food manufacturing facilities. Invariably, uh, any sizable food manufacturer uh, is now BRC uh, approved, BRC accredited. Uh, this is a requirement if they want to supply any multiple retailers. And, and it is a requirement of the BRC standard that the business should identify any threats to the food safety um, and one of those threats potentially is deliberate contamination of food. So um, in carrying out uh, an assessment of the threat to the business, uh, it's possible to identify the high risk areas where unauthorized persons should not have access and then installing CCTV in those areas to make sure that only authorized people have access. Uh, in conclusion, um, I, uh, in my experience, I would suggest there are three key elements that are requirements of a CCTV system. Firstly, um, 
it is very important that the CCTV cameras should be correctly located in order to capture the images which are important in the context of defending a prosecution or claims for compensation. Secondly, the clarity of images, because it is possible that these images are going to be used in the context of a criminal prosecution or a claim for compensation in court proceedings. Thirdly, uh, it is important for the relevant footage from CCTV to be uh, located and to be downloaded and securely stored because a potential uh, court case in relation to both criminal proceedings um, and civil litigation may be some years later. In the context of civil litigation, it may be three years from the date of the event.